welcome back y'all know i got more home updates Ooh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> i was just listening to some music so i'm in a dancing mood i love to dance so hopefully y'all don't mind that but this week i wanted to do um a different video we purchased well i did some shopping today <laughs> went a little crazy but um didn't really get more than i needed so i think i did okay <laughs> andy hasn't seen what i got yet so we'll see his reaction but i wanted to share the haul with you guys and hopefully you like what you see or if you want me to link something i can do that but i'm just excited about what i got today um and wanted to share that Today is Wednesday, but um, as far as the shopping, <sighs> I just got back home like barely even an hour ago. I mean, I was gone all day. Um, I went to Anthropology, went to Crate and Barrel. I got a ton there. Got a few things at Pottery Barn. I went to Bed Bath and & Beyond, and then um i think that's pretty much it i did make a stop in another store that's my birthday gift um i may or may not share that with you guys we'll see how i'm feeling by the end but so i don't ramble on for too long uh i will go ahead and get into it oh actually i did want to give a little bit of a shout out um, I know this channel is new, but there are already a couple of you who have kind of become regular subs. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the love you guys are showing, the beautiful comments, the birthday wishes. Know that it is being noticed and I really, it warms my heart. So I really appreciate you all who leave those uh, sweet comments. Like I said, it warms my heart. I do share them with Andy. He likes them too. He's just always surprised. But, um, you know, I like to see, you know, that good energy. So um, let me just give a couple of you a shout out. Someone had actually commented asking me to give them a shout out. And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea to give a shout out to a few of you. So let's see, played it by C you have been great <laughs> i've read all your comments i think you've commented on every video not that there's been a lot but i see you girl i really appreciate it um let's see um simone living it up she commented on one of my recent videos super sweet and she just started her own channel which i think is amazing i know it takes a lot of courage to kind of put yourself out there so good luck girl i will definitely be subscribing um i look forward to your content and then let's see here jacqueline white <laughs> she was the one who asked me to uh give a little shout out and complimented me on my voice so I appreciate you, girl. I hope you appreciate the shout out. Look forward to seeing you in future videos. And then let's see, I can do maybe one more here. Um, Everyday Life with Taboo. I think you had recently subscribed to the channel. I appreciate your comments. Uh, it looks like you may have a channel of your own. Maybe I subscribed, I'm not for sure, but um, if I haven't, I definitely will. And I appreciate you for stopping by. So let's go ahead and move on. I don't wanna make this video too long, um, but I got a lot. So I know I said home decor in the title, but really it's more like home goods, like, uh, like flatware, you know, candles that sort of thing so not really a lot of decor items i'm waiting to get into the what i like to call accessories um after i focus on the big items so like the furniture pieces you know rugs paint that sort of thing and then um decorative items those to me are like accessories so i gotta get the the main outfit first so um that's what i'm working on but Anyway, I hope you enjoy the haul. Let's get into it. 
Oh, and I've got some sparkling water here. I love Sam Panagrit, Panag, Sam Pellegrino. <laughs> and I put some craft ice in there. I don't know, I'll have to show you guys later, but they're just big balls. Oh, that kind of sounded a little dirty, didn't it? <laughs> they're, let's say, round. Um, just super cute, makes drinking your beverage a little bit more fun, so. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing, like I said, is from Anthropology. I got three things there. These are all small things, so nothing major at all, but cute things I wanted to share. So here's this little tray. It just says bonjour made in china it is um it's black and white and then it's got kind of like a champagne trim around it i just thought it was super cute you know i actually saw another youtuber share this i don't know when <laughs> i don't even remember who but when i saw it i was like oh yeah that's that that looks familiar but anyway it's cute it's ceramic um, I think I'll probably use it maybe in the bathroom or on my nightstand or something. I'm not for sure yet, but I thought it was cute. And then, I told you guys before in another video, sometimes when I get really excited or kind of anxious, I, well, really this is for everybody. You start to kind of run out of breath and you're breathing more shallow, uh, which is not good for your nervous system. So I've been practicing breathing from my diaphragm just to slow me down and, you know, calm down my nerves or my literal <laughs> nervous system. Um, so I'm not nervous or anything right now, but like I said, when you... <sighs> Really take the time to breathe deeply. Um, I mean, it even changes your voice. I'm sure you can hear. I'm not talking as high pitched and it just makes me feel more calm and feel better. So um, another tip for you, definitely would recommend that. Um, there are even videos on YouTube that I've seen where it's how to breathe properly. And basically, like I said, that just means breathing from your diaphragm. So another hot tip for the day. I just want everyone to be calm and happy. <laughs> All right, so I got a candle. Well, I got another candle. <laughs> Give away the, the third item from there. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Veluspa. Um, I probably got into them last year, I think. They kind of had a lot of influencers um, sharing their items and so um, they're really beautiful candles and then they have really nice scents and they're actually pretty well priced. Um, like I've gotten like those diptyque candles that are like $70 a piece. Um, and to me, they aren't even that great, honestly, but this was $30 and it's, uh, how big is this? 11 ounces. So it's quite large. And this one is Peruvian Lime Jardin. Jardin? Um, but it's it's beautiful. Mm, it's got two wicks. Mm, and this is a glass jar holder. And I like it because when they melt down, you can reuse the jar too if you want. Um, this may go on the island or on the nightstand. Um, and then same with this other candle. It's also from Veluspa. So normally I would order them online, but a while back I happened to be in Anthropology and I saw that they sold them. So I'm like, <laughs> easier instant gratification. I don't have to pay for shipping. I don't have to wait. The price is the exact same. This one's Blonde Tabak. I don't know, <laughs> but um, it's beautiful. This one's more, well, yeah, champagne gold, I guess. And it's got kind of flakes on it. Mm. 
yeah, that smells amazing. So, like I said, on the island or my nightstand, we'll, we'll see. Um, we are waiting for our coffee table. I ordered that quite a while ago. Of course, like most things, it's on back order. So, hopefully, I should be getting that soon. And then, obviously, like I'll have candles and stuff for the, the coffee table, but we're not quite there yet. So, anyway, um, that's everything from Anthropology. So, <laughs> the cat freaking out. <laughs> but since I have so much, I'm going to try to keep things um, in order or, you know, intact. Uh, so, I'm putting it all back in the bag. All right, uh, let's go to Pottery Barn since there's so much from Crate and Barrel. <laughs> I did get some things at Lush too. <laughs> um, okay, so two things from Pottery Barn. One is this little tray. Hopefully you can see that. I just think it's super cute. I don't know. <laughs> exactly what I'm going to use it for, but um, I thought it was a pretty good price. It was $29. I mean, it's solid. It's got some good weight to it. Um, it's obviously decorative, so could go in the bathroom or on the island or future coffee table or, you know, entryway, whatever. I just thought um, that was a good buy. So that's number one. Pottery Barn is this tray. So it's mirrored and it's in chrome and then it's got the acrylic on the handles. I mean you can see it's a pretty good size. I would say uh, oh, I don't know maybe a foot long. <laughs> well no probably longer than that but anyway I just thought this was really pretty. Um, again, either for the bathroom or for the island. When I say bathroom, I mean guest bathroom, since there will be chrome hardware in there. Um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, it was a little bit pricier, a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I thought it was really pretty. So let me know what you guys think of that. I've got a couple ideas for it. And so we'll just see. to Lush. If you're not familiar with Lush, um, let me put you on. They are amazing. Um, they have really good bath products and good skin products. So I do use a couple of their skincare items, but I especially love their bath bombs. So I bought three of them. Um, <laughs> my husband normally would buy me like a few bath bombs every few months, or excuse me, every month or two. Just surprises me with them because he knows I like to take baths and he knows I love their bath bombs. But I'll just show you one as an example. Um, mm, that smells so good. <laughs> but everything in their store is either organic or all natural and it's handmade. Um, and then they like recycle everything and they're like, you know, really big on reducing their carbon footprint, no animal testing, all that good stuff. So I just love going there. Um, the store always smells so good and the associates are really nice. So anyway, like I said, I got three of those. 
And then she actually gave me a couple samples um, of new products I haven't tried. So I do look forward to those. But um, like I said, I love their bath bombs. It takes your bath experience up a notch if you like taking baths like I do. So I highly recommend. Next, um, oh, let's just go ahead and do Crate and Barrel. It's a lot of stuff. Actually, it's not even really that much. It's just kind of bulky. <laughs> um, but item number one. Oh, yay. I got a jar. So I actually got two jars. Um, the other one is bigger so let me hold those for you they are glass i don't know if you can hopefully tell yeah i think you can tell um but i actually want to use them for in our master bathroom by my tub um again one for the bath bombs like i just showed you and then one for my bath salts so i always use um, Epsom salts, like a Dr. Teal's Epsom salts, if you're familiar with those. Um, they're, again, really great. And then the bath bombs, I always usually have at least two or three on hand. So I just wanted a cute way to store them. Um, and I thought this would be perfect for that. So um, I was planning to get those at like Michael's or somewhere like that. But I thought these were a pretty good price. Uh, I don't know where my receipt is, but I think this one was like 12 and the other one was 14. So that's not bad. Plus I got 15% off everything. And let me tell you, all a lot of people think that Crate and Barrel is expensive or they just assume that they're expensive, but it's really not. Like everything I got, and I'll show you, of course, I got for $109. And before the 15% off, it was only like 130 or something like that. So not a lot. Like I thought it was going to be like $200. And when she rang that up, I was shocked. Like, is that it? <laughs> so I'll show you. But like, I mean, I've seen a lot of these things at Target for like similar prices. And, you know, I love Target. Nothing against it. But if I can get it at Crate and Barrel, then... Most of the time, I'm going to get it at Crane Barrel if it's pretty much the same price because I just feel like their quality is a bit better. All right. Ooh, that's a little heavy. <laughs> Next thing, and I did get multiples of things, so I probably won't show you, like, all of them. Um, so, I mean, I can just tell you, like, I got a lot of dishware at Crate and Barrel. So like this, this is a coffee mug. Um, it's glass, but I just love the look of clear. I just think it's so pretty and I don't know. I just <laughs> like being able to see what I'm drinking. Um, we don't drink coffee in our house. I don't like it, Andy doesn't like it. Um, so we drink like tea, you know, hot chocolate, cappuccino, that sort of thing. Uh, we have our Keurig for that. I drink tea every single day um, in the morning and at night. So, uh, you know, they'll definitely be used, but I got four of these. And again, these were, you know, I don't know where the receipt might be in my purse, but these were like $2.50 a piece or $3.50, something like that. So really cheap. Again, this is something I would have thought to order on Amazon but to get it in store and then for 15% off, I mean, this is a good price. <laughs> so again, I got four of those. Um, I got a few, what everything is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then four of these. Just a simple little bowl. I thought they were cute because I think it's a cute like snack bowl or like fruit. I try to eat a lot of fruit. So just to see how pretty and colorful it is in this bowl or I mean ice cream, like literally anything. <laughs> so I just, I got, excuse me, 
like I said, four of these. I just thought they would be cute and I know we'll use them. And again, we needed more dishes because, um, I mean, we just don't have a lot. And what we have is nice. Like we use white dishes and I think they came from Target like way back in the day or Walmart. <laughs> like when we used to shop there, we're not Walmart shoppers anymore. Um, nothing against Walmart, we just don't do it. Um, but anyway, so they're nice enough, but we just needed to add a little more to our set and I just wanted to, you know, kind of take it up a notch. Oh, this I thought was so pretty. Look at that. I mean, it's very simple. <laughs> and this is sort of a, a shape that I've seen quite a bit, really. I mean, at different stores, but I just thought it was so pretty. <laughs> and it was really a good deal. They had it in white, but which I really liked and almost got. But then I saw this and I'm like, well, this will be perfect because it can go in any room. And I'm not sure where exactly I want it yet, but this was one of those things that I just felt like I had to get. Um, and it is handmade, <laughs> which is really cool, but this was like $24 and that's before the discount. So again, not bad. Like I feel like this will cost about that at Target. So <laughs> don't sleep on Crate Barrel. If you haven't been, go in there. And again, there's usually like you can use a coupon or excuse me, you can get a coupon if you sign up for their emails. Um, you know, just there's ways to save additional, but I, I love it. And the lady I was working with in there, is, she was so sweet. Um, you know, it's, it's good customer service. So I think that's everything for this bag. So like I said, all the bowls in there, the rest of the mugs, but I don't need to unwrap them all and show them to you. So hopefully you get the idea. scratchy throat or like a little tickle so I'm just having to drink a little bit more water or more than usual but I mean that's okay <laughs> not a bad thing right um set of four as well well I bought four of them it wasn't a set um just a bowl nothing too crazy but I've always really liked square plate wear <laughs> I just I mean we have like I said white ones now and they are round and they're perfectly nice perfectly beautiful but I love to watch like cooking shows <laughs> and I love fine dining of course who doesn't but um I just you know, I've always seen like square plates there or oval or, you know, something different than the traditional round dinner plate. And so I knew I wanted something a little different. And not that square is super unique. I mean, anybody can get it, like you can get it at Target. But um, I just wanted to have something else other than the round plate to kind of switch it up and feel like we're at a nice restaurant, so. <laughs> Highly recommend if you're into that sort of thing the way that I am. I am very much a person who likes the finer things. I like nice things and I'm just trying to add those, those touches or that feeling to the everyday. So dishes is a great way to do that because of course you're gonna be eating off plates and stuff every day. So why not make them nicer so you can feel a little bit nicer, you know? And then I got the plates, of course. So again, pretty basic, nothing too crazy. I like that it's got like a bit of a lip here. I saw some that were pretty flat where it was like, if you made anything with any kind of juices or sauce, like it would slide right off. But this, you know, dips down so you don't have that issue. Um, and 
please, y'all, if you are somebody who's eating off plastic or, God forbid, paper, step it up. And I say that with all kindness, but, I mean, you deserve better. You should be, you know, giving yourself a nicer experience. Like, these sort of things don't cost a lot. And you don't even have to go to Crate and Barrel. You could literally go to Walmart, to Target, to Kroger, even the Dollar Tree and get yourself something nice. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, you know, ceramic or glass. It can even be, uh, what's that brand, Corel. There's kind of like a porcelain or ceramic or something, but it's chip resistant. So we actually have some of those, but those are really nice. But it just, you know, it feels a bit more elevated. <laughs> it's just better than, you know, a paper plate or plastic or <sighs> Tupperware or whatever. So. I don't know if any of y'all are doing that, but if you are, please, I encourage you just to give yourself something a little bit nicer and I, you will not regret it. <laughs> You'll feel better. Uh, oh, that's heavy. So that's that bag. And then next is Bed Bath & Beyond. So I got some towels, <coughs> excuse me, towels for the guest bathroom i wanted to get some for ours um i had there's a particular style of towel that i had my eyes on that i saw like a week or two ago i should have just gotten them then but now they only had like three in the store and they're completely out of stock online um and of the three two of them were like stained like gross looking <laughs> Um, and they're white towels, so I'm like, well, I'm not getting those. We need more than three, so I'm just just going to have to wait. So we're using, you know, older towels in our bathroom. But um, for our guests, I got these really nice towels. Um, they're Egyptian cotton, and they're from this brand. I don't know how to say that. Um, but they are so, so soft, like, like crazy soft. And it's got like gray stripe. The vanity in our guest bathroom is gray. So I wanted to play off of that. So I just got the hand towels and then the washcloths to go with it. And then the bath towels as well. So I just got a set of two of everything. We don't expect to have a lot of overnight guests, so we'll see. Um, I mean, we have family that is anxious to come over, um, but you know, we're not quite ready to host anyone yet. But um, anyway, so a bunch of those towels. I don't know that we've ever bought Egyptian cotton towels, but they're so, so soft. I mean, and the price wasn't that bad. It was Bed Bath & Beyond. And if you know, they always have coupons. So I had like a $20 off coupon and then a 20% off a single item coupon. So it didn't save a lot, but every little bit helps. But Bed Bath & Beyond is like so amazing for homeware. I mean, I could just go to the type of store where they have stuff that you didn't know you needed. Like just random kitchen gadgets, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a great store. Just don't go in there like thinking about the brows. But no, you're gonna come out of there with a cart full of stuff. This is just my makeup I had earlier. I had to throw in there. Um, oh, I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> it is, oh, there's a C, a paper towel holder. So it is marble, which in my opinion is, super basic like I feel like I've seen everyone with this the whole marble thing is kind of annoying like it's very trendy right now but honestly I mean it matches our countertops so I wanted something you know that would kind of give a seamless look and it is substantial and it was a good price so we'll see I mean I haven't put it on the counter yet to see what it looks like but I mean I didn't want like an ugly chrome one so <laughs> We'll just see, but I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Let me get a little more water. Um, <laughs> I'm 
so you can already see some of the stuff here. This is just a curtain rod. It is like in a, a brushed gold. Well, I don't know why I'm showing the whole box, but here you can see. This is gonna go in my babe cave. I think I gave you guys a preview of that last week. So it is pink with gold accents. Um, and I thought this would be perfect. I would like it a little bit more gold, but I feel like it's okay. Um, and it'll get the job done. I mean, I'm not too particular about the curtain rod in there. So um, that's that because the curtains that we had in our bedroom that we decided not to use, I'm putting those in the babe cave. So those are the more wavy ones. Um, I know some of you liked those, but if you could see it in person, it looks so much better with the other ones. Um, but anyway, I still love that curtain, so I'm putting it in my babe cave. And then lastly, I got this drink dispenser. So they had like some really cute ones at, um, Crate and Barrel, but they were a little bit pricey for what they were, and a lot of them, well, the ones I liked were glass, and I don't really want glass because I do intend to use this for tea. Um, when I had a glass one in the past, it did crack because I absentmindedly put hot tea in there, so it was too hot and cracked the glass. I just don't want to have to deal with that or worry about that. So this one, oh, that sun is right in my eye. <laughs> there we go. This one is acrylic and I thought it was cute because it's got like the ice cone in the middle and then it's got the base already. And then it actually comes with an extra large infuser. And then it's got a garnish tray that you can sit on top for like limes and stuff. So let me show you the picture. I mean, isn't that cute? <laughs> I thought that was like such a like clever thing. And this was like $40. And the ones at Crate and Barrel were like 80. <laughs> and you had to, uh, like the base and the actual dispenser were separate, which is nice because you can mix and match. But I just was like, $80 is kind of a lot for that. 40 is much more up my alley, so. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. There have been several other little things that we've bought here and there that I haven't necessarily shown, like in a haul video, since this is the first one. But um, at some point, I will show you those things when I give a particular, uh, or give a tour in that particular room or area. Um, I will probably post um, another update, like a weekly home decor update. I just haven't, I wanted to do this first because there was so much and I was really excited to share that. So do stay tuned for that. I still hope to put that out for you this week. Um, otherwise, uh, just keep an eye out for the usual updates. Let me know if there's anything special or anything in particular that you guys want to see. Again, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for all the love and kindness that you've been showing. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.